coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Boom's XB-1 completes Test Flight 6. Odyssey Pilot Hours buys 12 Evector Harmony LSAs. 20-year anniversary of Steve Fawcett's Zeppelin airship speed record. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Boom's XB-1 completes Flight Test 6. Boom Supersonic's XB-1 demonstrator aircraft successfully carried out Flight 6 last week, achieving the primary objective of testing the flutter excitation system. The company said the flight made significant progress towards validating a fully functional FES, as it was successfully tested at Mach 0.65, a higher airspeed than the previous flutter test point. In addition, the XB-1's flight envelope was expanded to an altitude of 20,000 feet and achieved a higher overall airspeed of Mach 0.67 during the 39-minute flight. Flutter testing is a critical element of testing new aircraft designs to ensure there are no undesirable interactions between the airflow around the aircraft and its structure. Flutter is a dangerous dynamic instability that occurs when airflow induces the natural vibration modes of the structure that could lead to structural failure. The FES inputs energy into the aircraft structure during flight testing to validate the design and is performed at incrementally higher airspeeds as testing progresses. Boom's testing is done incrementally, adding one new item at a time as well as increases in airspeed. This was the sixth of 10 flights planned during progression to Mach 1, which the company has planned to complete by the end of 2024. After the break, Senator pushes FAA to accelerate rocket launch licensing. Backcountry flying to us is our playground. For us, it's how we access the things we like to do. It's just our lifestyle. We exclusively use the, the Hartzell Voyager prop, and it's proved to be um, just a great combination for what we do. What it's doing, it's, it's helping us all have better performing airplanes. Man, it feels a lot better clearing trees by 50 feet versus 20 feet. I don't ever see myself not flying. The legendary BD-4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD-4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD-4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Senator pushes FAA to accelerate rocket launch licensing. U.S. Senator Jerry Moran is pushing the FAA to speed up the process for rocket launch licensing. He argues that the agency is failing to keep up with the quickly expanding aerospace department, therefore damaging the sector's development. Moran is the highest ranking Republican on the Democrat-led Senate Commerce Aviation Subcommittee. On October 25th, he sent a letter to FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker stating that its Commercial Space Department, quote, must rapidly improve its transparency, accountability, and pace of execution, end quote, for launch approvals. Gulfstream receives STC for Starlink installations. Gulfstream Aerospace announced it has received an FAA STC to install the Starlink high-speed satellite internet system on board its G650 and G650ER model biz jets. The STC approval lets customers work directly with Gulfstream rather than third-party installers to upgrade their connectivity. Starlink provides passengers with a variety of in-flight simultaneous capabilities such as video calls, streaming services, internet access, data transfer, and cloud-based services. The latency of Starlink is less than 99 milliseconds with download speeds of 40 to 220 megabits per second. Final Crew-8 astronaut released from the hospital. The fourth and final astronaut from NASA's SpaceX Crew-8 mission has been released from the hospital after an overnight stay. 
The three other crew members left for Houston the previous day following their 235-day space mission. The SpaceX capsule containing NASA astronauts Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett, and Jeanette Epps, along with Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Grobenkin, departed from Florida's Kennedy Space Center on March 3rd. The mission was originally supposed to last 180 days, but its return was pushed 55 days behind schedule. Pilatus PC-12 was the most flown business aircraft in the U.S. last year. Pilatus Aircraft announced that its PC-12 single-engine turboprop recorded 316,328 takeoffs between August 2023 and July 2024, representing 8.8% of all departures according to WingX Advance, a leading aviation industry data provider. The Swiss manufacturer, who introduced the PC-12 in 1994, says its latest version, the PC-12 NGX, is a state-of-the-art aircraft. In 2023, the company produced over 100 units for delivery worldwide, including 48 in the U.S. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Odyssey Pilot Hours buys 12 Evector Harmony LSAs. Evector has partnered with Odyssey Pilot Hours, a training and time-building operation in Erie, Colorado, to deliver 12 Harmony aircraft in the next few months. Odyssey has taken delivery of the first six Harmonies, with four more to come by the end of 2024, and the final two will join the fleet in early 25. The Harmony LSAs ordered by Odyssey are technologically advanced aircraft equipped with G3X glass cockpit with two touchscreens, Garmin GNX375, GNC215, and GMA245R navigation, and G3X autopilot. The interior of the aircraft are the comfort package, and equipment also includes simulated landing gear control and a visual and acoustic warning system. Odyssey Pilot Hours is a training organization based at the Erie Municipal Airport, providing time-building programs for pilots on a career path to flying for corporate operations or the airlines. Pilots sign up for either full or part-time programs and are paired with pilots of similar training and goals. Partners have a dedicated airplane for 14 hours per day, Sunday through Friday. While flying, pilots alternate acting as PIC or safety pilot. While under the hood, both the PIC and safety pilot can log PIC time, with the goal of flying 30 to 50 hours per week. The hourly rate includes fuel, oil, lodging, scheduled maintenance, and snacks. The idea is to build time as rapidly as possible. After these messages, 20-year anniversary of Steve Fawcett's Zeppelin airship speed record. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com Welcome back. 20-year anniversary of Steve Fawcett's Zeppelin airship speed record. 
On October 27, 2004, the American adventurer Steve Fossett set a new speed record in a Zeppelin NT airship. His speed of 115 kilometers per hour still stands today, 20 years on, as an absolute record. Fawcett managed to beat the existing record of 92.8 kilometers per hour, which had been set by James Dexter and Michael Kendrick in the year 2000. To make the attempt, Fawcett got his license to fly the Zeppelin just weeks before the record took place in Friedrichshafen, Germany. His co-pilot was Hans-Paul Stroll, and the FAI observers were champion balloonist Uwe Schneider and Christian Michael, and remembers Fawcett as a humble person, adding that, quote, it simply was a great experience to work with him, end quote. This, of course, was not Fawcett's only FAI record. The pilot and aviation enthusiast set an impressive 89 world records in other air sports besides airships, gliding, powered aircraft, and ballooning. Born in 1944, the early 2000s was an extremely active time for Fawcett. On July 3, 2002, he broke the record of the shortest time around the world in a balloon, 320 hours and 33 minutes. And on March 3, 2005, he became the first man to fly solo around the world unrefueled. Steve Fawcett tragically lost his life in September 2007 in his Super Decathlon aircraft. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.